Police say someone set multiple cars on fire at a Milwaukee auto shop overnight. You see it right there. The brazen act was all caught on a nearby surveillance camera, but police say the suspect was not. The owner of that shop sat down with our Stephanie Quirk tonight. In 43 years of business, we've never had this. Yeah, you know, never. John Kalupa says he went to bed after spending Thanksgiving with his family, only to wake up a few hours later to a call from Milwaukee police. Come down. There's been a fire. A fire that police say someone started on purpose. Surveillance video around 2 o'clock Friday morning shows a person circling multiple cars near Kalupa's business, Ruby Isle Auto, near Silver Spring and Lover's Lane, before setting fire to one then taking off. I don't have any animosity or bad feelings or I just, you know, I, I, I don't know what's went through their mind to do this. The fire spread to five cars before crews made it on scene and put it out. There's 30 cars here. Why only five of them are on fire? Of all the things that could have gone wrong. While Kalupa is thankful, first responders arrived as quick as they did. You take a complete disaster and, 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 and these guys are heroes. He and police are still trying to figure out who is responsible. I hope and pray that they get better. Fortunately, officers say no one was hurt in the overnight arson. And for Kalupa? That's incredible right there. That is something to be thankful for. What should have been a really tough day has turned out to be a great day. In Milwaukee, Stephanie Quirk, Fox 6 News.